Hey, this is Michael from Coin Collecting and Detect Detecting. I'll try and talk. We've got $1 coins and $2 coin rolls here today. I've got a fair few of those to check through. Got the Damascus Steel, got the bag. These coins go back to the bank, goes in the coin deposit machine. Money straight back in my bank account so I can get some more coins out. And I need to head back to the bank tomorrow to get some more coins. Take these back and get some more coins. Got the digital microscope ready, Tom Love, just in case there's some things to need, I need to look at. Also got this one here, picked this up from Renix as well. This is a magnifying glasses, take five. Ideal for hands, free work and handicrafts. So you can have those on just in case you wanna have a look a bit closer, have it on top of your head. But we're gonna be searching these right here, see what we can find. Maybe some dino coins, colored $2 coins. Let's go. All right, let's get this in position. Hopefully everyone's been having a great day. Pokemon. Okay, so we've got $2 coins and $1 coins. Let's start with a $1 roll. We'll start there. Hmm, all right. Ooh, any shiny ones? That's a bit of a dirty one in the middle there. Let's check out that one straight away. What's going on with that? Oof. No, don't know where that one's been. Not that great. Okay, morning, g'day, Dennis, how's it going? All right, let's get a bit of zoom in here. Ooh, 2015, this could have a missing leg on the kangaroo over here, but that one's got the leg, so that little leg at the background there um, is the one that you're looking at on these 2015s. Actually looking forward to this because of how many $1 coins and $2 coins to search through. I like searching the ones and twos, so plenty of chances. Now actually, they made a lot of that other design that I just dropped into the bag. In 2005, they made a lot of these, this particular design. So the Dancing Man, 34 million of those were minted, but only 5.8 million of the Kangaroos design in 2005 were minted. So it's a bit of a lower mintage coin, this particular one right here. So some prices on these. $2.90 to $13. I'll put it aside. Morning, Michael. I picked two colors in your roll yesterday. I predict you will get three today. Actually, probably a few more, but look at this. I've got a few. I've got five different rolls of $2 coins, so I've got plenty of chances. That's good. But maybe, yeah, in an individual roll, um, you're right. Maybe we'll get three. That'd be awesome. I like that. Um, so this one here, a few people ask this question. On the $1 coins, 1984s and 1985s, you get this dark ring on the coin, this darker ring, and people say, oh, is that an error? No, I don't think it is. It's, I think it's just something to do with the way that the coins are rolled up, um, and it's fairly common, relatively common, on the 85s and 84s, so not really an error as such. Man, this one's in pretty good condition. High mintage 2016. Let's have a look at the mintage figures. Um... 30 million, 30 million mintage, but that's fairly nice. I might put that aside because any coin in good condition is worth more than face value. But personally, I'd probably check on my sets to see if that one is better than the one I've got in my set. You will get three in one roll. Awesome. Three in one roll sounds good. You will get a red poppy today. I can feel it. Oh, Terry, I like it. I like it. Grill brand, how long does it take to sell a coin? Um, oh, it depends on what coin it is, and it depends on how good your marketing is and how many coins you're selling on eBay. There's a whole range of things that factor into how long it takes for a coin to sell. Ainie, good evening. G'day, Michael. How's it going? It's probably pretty late over there in Norway, I'm assuming, because I'm a little bit later to the live today. So what is it? It's just about 12 o'clock. Um, so, yeah, it's probably pretty late over there. So thank you for being here. Oh, appreciate the gifts. Thank you. How are you today, Michael? Good, thanks, Jack. Good. Car's in for a service, so... I'm on my feet today. <laughs> I had to drive it around to get it serviced, so I've just walked back home. Yeah, it's 1.40. Whoa, 1.40 in the morning. What are you doing? What are you still doing awake? Uh, it's good to just relax, and if you can't get to sleep, just uh, scroll on TikTok. That's what I usually do, too. Any rare coins today? I've only just started. This is my first roll, so I've put aside a couple of things. Oh, here we go. This one, 2017 Anzac design is worth holding on to. So $3 to $7. A little bit dirty, pretty worn. Was waiting for your live. Ah, thanks, Arnie. Yeah, there we go. Apologies that I didn't, um, I'm sorry I didn't get on earlier. <laughs> but yeah, I had an appointment 
had to take my car to get it serviced and then I had an appointment as well so I um, did those two things and then was available to start my live so thanks for hanging around and um, for those who can't make my lives I usually save the live stream put it on my YouTube um, so yeah YouTube channels coin collecting and detecting okay that was a dollar roll let's go with a two dollar roll um, I literally just watched at least 50 of your coin videos and then saw great timing. Yeah, the last, there's been a couple of videos recently that have sort of popped off. A fair few people have um, been watching, so it had a fair few views. So on a few videos, so I'm not sure what's happened, but um, it's good. It's good that people are tuning in, checking it out, learning about what to look for. All right, $2 coins. Um, it's, I'm currently really ill and this is the feed has made me my day your account. Oh, thank you Hopefully you're feeling better soon. Yeah Toby been a while since I've watched you so decided to come back although it took me a like a week to find Yeah, it can take a little while to find accounts that have sort of been on your feed But sort of gone off your feed. I found these vids so oddly satisfying. Awesome. Yeah Get well sending positive vibes. Yeah, for sure. Hopefully you're feeling better. Okay, let's get into the two dollar coins See if we can find anything cool here. So someone was saying probably three colored coins they're predicting. Three colors coming up. There we go. Terry's on the three colors. Oh, I think that's that's a fair amount of color for one roll. But um, I like the positivity. It's good. Okay, we might be about halfway through, Terry. Oh, not looking good. We've got a, got a score probably in this little section, at least one in this little section. We're scoring a few HHs, the 88s and the 89s. Oh, no. Marching. Great vids, mate. You got me noodling now. Awesome. Nice. This is the last section of this $2 roll. Another HH. Morning, everyone. G'day, traveling man. Hello. Greetings from the UK. G'day. How's it going? A 2022. You have a few rolls, so I'm still confident. Yeah, that's right. It's good, isn't it? It's, um, plenty of chances today. Not just one roll of each. More HH. <laughs> yeah, plenty of HHs. Okay, we'll do another $2 roll just because we're on the $2 frame of mind okay yeah Australian two dollar coins yeah what are the two dollar honeybees worth um five dollars to eight dollars are some recent prices on the honeybee coin so that's this that's this particular two dollar coin it's got the color on it two dollar coin from 2022 Paper tear, 7.42 out of 10. Nice. Yeah, probably should slow it down and try and get a, a nice one there, Arnie, shouldn't I? HH my initials. I am here. Nice. You're represented on the coins. 88s and 89s. Hi, Michael Gay, Marius. Some people, some people do watch to try to get to sleep. They put on the YouTube channel and um, listen to me search for coins and it puts them to sleep. So I might be putting lots of people to sleep right about now, <laughs> searching some coins. So sweet dreams if you're about to head off to sleep. What time is it over there? It is quarter to 12, quarter to 12. Um, so just about lunchtime, midday. Mark, I like the variety of Queen's profiles on the coins, just like us here in Canada. Yeah, that's right. So there's been six different designs of the Queen on the Australian coins over the years. So six different looks. Yeah, that's cool. Mm, no colours so far. When do you start getting Charles on the coins? About mid-year, I've heard. Mid-year this year, in Australia anyway. Two HHs in a row. And a 2002. It's midnight in the UK, AK, yeah, middle of the night. 
Only once and two today. Yes, pretty much. Um, because I'm going to head back to the bank tomorrow and I wanted to go through these so I get all of these coins back into the bank so I can get more coins out. It's better off searching them. Ooh, this one. This roll could have a dino in it. Do you reckon that one's a dino? That one there, it's a bit shiny. Let's have a bit of a look. Oh, it's not a dino. Why are you so shiny? Let's have a look. 2016. Any errors on it? Can't see any errors. Paper tear, 6.2347. 10 out of 10. Thomas, wait, what time is it for you? It is, um, it's my watch here. So it's just about 12 o'clock at noon, lunchtime. So, um, yeah, in Australia anyway, or Victoria, Australia, there's a few different time zones in Australia. So, um, yeah. What are you looking for in the role? Oh, there's lots of things to look for. Lots of things to look for. So, um, yeah, I've got coin lists that are available through the link in my TikTok account of the things that I'm looking for and the, how much they can sell for, recent selling prices. This is sort of one of them. It's, it, Bit slightly higher mintage. Um, so this is a women's suffrage coin. What year is it again? Just so I can quickly locate it on my list. Um, $2.70 to $5. 10 million of these coins were minted. I'll put that aside. Thomas Norway here. So it's 1.47 night time. Yeah, okay. I love you so much. Ah, cool. Appreciate that. Uh, that's a nice looking coin, that one. Yeah, that one there. So that was commemorates a centenary of women's suffrage. There we go. Not suffering. It's like, <laughs> I think it's like the women's movement sort of, yeah, advancing the women's movement, which is good. Is there anywhere in the world you want to travel? Oh, yeah. Yeah, why not? Uh, it's funny because I live in Australia. There's more places in Australia I want to get to. I want to go to Tasmania. I was, was there a couple of months ago, but I want to explore a bit more of Tasmania, the south and the west coast and the northwest. And I also want to go to Western Australia, the bottom part of Western Australia. Um, but elsewhere in the world, oh, it's not really high on my list, but geez, I'd love to go to Bora Bora in Tahiti. That's a pretty fancy sort of place to get to. Um, yeah, but what about yourself? Where does everyone want to go to? I used to live in Germany. I must say where I was, I had a lot of thunderstorms. Oh, there you go. I uh, just wanted to Charles... Didn't realize I like the coin live. I have the first world war two pound coin. Oh, cool. Iceland, I'm a, yeah, Iceland would be cool. I did see a video on TikTok. I think it was just yesterday where someone was saying these, he's been to about 200 countries or something like that. And he's top five countries. And one of those was Iceland. So yeah, Iceland would be a good place to visit. Lauren, I'm from the UK. Def, I want to get to Australia. Yeah, for sure. For sure, come to Ukraine. Come to Ukraine. Very welcome, all of you. Um, yeah, we might wait a little bit to get to Ukraine, but um, hopefully that all calms down as soon as possible. Hi, Michael. G'day, Millsy. Australia is on my bucket list. Yeah, Canada would be a good place to visit as well. And oh, there's a yeah, there's a coin that I'm going to be reviewing coming up. I probably shouldn't talk about it, so maybe I won't because I'm probably not supposed to talk about it. Um, so stay tuned for that, but it's to do with travel, I suppose. Like it's um, it's uh, they're located around the world in different locations around the world, but it'd be a good, be an awesome thing to visit. Just so raw and powerful. Jeez, I should stop talking about it because people, I can't really reveal what it is. Appreciate the gifts there. Thank you. Uh, what's some, some coins you should look out for? Oh man, there's so many coins to look out for. I've got a free guide through the link in my TikTok account of some really valuable coins to look for. Um, six valuable coins you should be looking for, it's called. So yeah, probably check that out. It's got some pictures and a description of the things to look for. So through the link in my TikTok account. Oh, paper tear, that was a bit better, wasn't it? Okay, 9.628 says Ani, nice. Hickey, hello Michael, good day. You know what? I haven't found an error coin on these one dollar coins for a little while. So you can get little blobs of metal on the side of this kangaroo, across the back of this top kangaroo, across the back of this kangaroo. It's called a spewroo, as though the top kangaroo's had a little spew on the back of this one. Um, and you can get a little bit of doubling down here on the tail. 
extra doubling on the feet down here. So it's been a little while since I've found some of those. So I have to keep an eye out for those. Uh, what kind of metal are these coins made of? Oh, I can't remember the exact composition breakdown, but the Royal Australian Mint website does have the metal composition yeah, on their site. But I, yeah, I can't remember off the top of my head exactly what it is. Hey, I have a silver one dollar coin. Is that rare? Um, yeah, it'll be a collector coin if that's what you've got. Yeah, and they produce. There's a fair few different collector type coins. All right, this volunteers coins worth a little bit more. So two thousand and one volunteers. Um, two dollars to twenty nine dollars fifty. So the twenty nine dollar fifty sale. That's what one sold for. It would have been in perfect condition. S only six million of those coins were minted. So that's pretty low mintage. Cool. Have you got any mule coins? No, I don't. I don't have any mule coins. I'd love to have one. I'd love to find one. So it's a year 2000 coin, the $1 mule. What happens if you melt Australian gold coins? I'm not too sure. They get melted. Um, how much is the Australian one Australian dollar equals to US dollar? Oh, um, I think one US dollar is about 1.4, maybe 1.4 or 1.5 US. All right, I think this one's got a really small error on it, this coin right here. So, oh, keep bumping that thing. A little spike on the back of that second kangaroo. See that little spike sticking up? That is not supposed to be there. And that makes it a really small error on the coin. What year is this coin? 2016, yeah. Nice. Hey, Noodling GC. G'day, Dale, how's it going? Had any good finds recently? I think I saw a little bit of your live last night. And I think you were saying that you haven't found... I wasn't sure if it was a coronation or something. You said you haven't sort of come across any so far just yet this year. Might have been a coro. I'm not too sure. Good things, matey. Nice. Two thousand and fifteen. Any cool finds today, Michael? Oh, nothing really out of the box so far. Yeah, nothing crazy. Yeah, just some a little bit over face value type setups. I'll show a few of them now. So the volunteers coin, that one there. Got the Anzac from 2017, which is a bit of a lower mintage one, that 2017 coin. This coin's in just fairly nice condition, so I put that aside. That's a 2016 coin, so I'll probably just check my sets to see if that one replaces something in my sets. Why have I, do, why have I got this one? Oh, 2005 Kangaroos Designs, a bit of a lower mintage coin. A women's suffrage coin I've put aside. And this one's got that little error on that second kangaroo on the top of the neck, the second kangaroo. So there's a few coins that I've put aside so far today. All right, what should I do? Should I do a $2 roll or $1 roll? What would you like to see? There's a museum with the original Ken Miles GT40 somewhere in America. I'd love to visit there soon. Nice, nice. Um, so Robert says two, $1 says Lou. Um, ooh, one dollar, please. Lots of people are saying one dollar, so I'll go with the one dollar roll. And there's a few manners in there, nice. More firefighters, please. <laughs> yeah, firefighters would be cool. I've got a few firefighters on my desk, but haven't found too many of them. These are the firefighter coins. Ooh, let's get a bit of clarity, a bit of the firefighter coin, two dollar coin, but um. Let's go with the um, $1 roll here. Michael, what's your most valuable coin? I don't know. I haven't... Um, the coin prices can change a little bit, and I haven't valued all of the coins in my collection, so I don't know what would be my most, most valuable coin. Perfect feel next time. Yeah, that one was not a perfect feel. Oh, you know what? I'm sort of going to be focused right here on finding a 2014 Kangaroos design. They're low mintage. Chogum. Mmm, it's pretty worn that Chogum. And when I, when I say Chogum, it's this up here. C H O G M. Commonwealth Heads of Government Meeting in 2011. It was in Perth, Australia. 
so they call it choggum but it's pretty worn so look for a little bit of extra metal across the top of the hat on those there but um i haven't found one of those for a long time paper tea yeah, it was pretty ordinary wasn't it carissa you could turn that into a series pricing out some of your coins yeah probably could too yeah good suggestion What's the value of a collection on estimate? Oh, no idea. I've got so many different coins in different places. Yeah, sorry. I honestly I couldn't really say, but 2006, this is, it's just really pronounced, like it's struck nicely. Um, a 2006 mob of ruse, ooh, 38 million of these were minted, 38.9 million, so fairly common. Yeah, but it just looks pretty cool, that one. I'll put it aside just out of interest sakes. Looks like it's been cleaned. Yeah, it was definitely fresh, wasn't it? What's the value of a 966 20 cent coin with the swirl? Um, 20 cent coins from 966 were minted in two different locations. Um, if it's got the wave, if it's got the wavy baseline, 150 to 330 is a recent selling price range on those, some of the worn ones, yeah. But the standard ones, a lot less than that, because they minted minted close to 60 million 20 cent coins in 966. Yeah. If you can identify which mint they came from, there's Lon some were produced in London, some were produced in Australia, up to $12.50 if they're in really good condition, and you can identify which mint location, because coin collectors like to collect the different mint locations on the 966. Oh, here we go. Anzac. Hey, Nelly, how's it going? Thanks for the gift. Um, Anzac 2015 lower mintage. So 2015 Anzac. $2.80 to $8.50. Only 1.4 million of those were minted. Cool. How many coins in a roll? There's the $1 coins, there's 20. And the $2 coins, there's 25. Ooh, let's go. Come on, rotation. Boom, no. I would love to get a hyper metallic 50 cent. Oh yeah, they're cool, aren't they? I was lucky to get one late last year, so I'm really happy with that one. Hello, coiners in chat. G'day, Michael. Josh. Hi, Michael. What size 2x2 two two do you buy for Renix for the $2 coins? I don't know. Um, uh, this is a $2 one there. Wait a second, if I get a ruler... Oh, where's a ruler? Okay, so here's a ruler. So let's go on that edge to this edge. That's about 21 mil. 21 mil probably for a $2 coin. For those, 21 mil. There we go. Okay, um, $2 coins. Let's go some $2 coins. How much are they and where can I buy them? Cheers. Oh, what are you, what are you referring to? You're talking about the coins? Um, you get these coins from the bank, but to get them in rolls, only some bank branches stock coins in rolls like this. So you've just got to check around with some banks in your area. It's usually the bigger bank locations like in the CBDs or banks near lots of retail businesses um, that are more likely to have coins stocked in rolls if that's what your question is asking there. Oh, but the two by twos, yeah, you can get them from lots of different coin coin dealers or eBay or Renix. Um, a few HHs so far in this roll. HH again, 1988, 161 million minted. A 98 is a bit of a lower mintage year. But I don't know if I hold on to it. 8.7 million minted, five dollars twenty to fourteen dollars, but in better condition. Oh, I'll put it aside just out of interest sakes. Why not? What New Zealand coins should I be looking for? I don't really know as much about the New Zealand coins, but um, I hold on to all of the New Zealand coins I find. But I don't find a lot searching Australian coins. H H. 
there's a book for the New Zealand coins. I'll show you the book. Um, this one, this one here. It's called the John Bertrand New Zealand Coin and Banknote Catalog 2022. I don't know if there's a 2023 that's come out yet, but coin and banknote values for New Zealand coins. So um, I got that from Renix here in Australia, but you could probably buy it overseas, over New Zealand as well, but it has prices and stuff like that. So it's probably worth maybe hunting that book out. That's cool. Hey, who did that little um, treasure chest thing up there? Nelly, was that you? <laughs> Thank you. So once that treasure chest counts down, I think people can jump in and gift a gift. A gift from Nelly to other gifters to gift to me. Thank you. Appreciate that. Can't believe no color so far. Yeah. It's unfortunate, but thanks for the box, Nelly. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Is it easy to sell them for the estimated value? Um, oh, it depends on the coin and it depends on your skills, I suppose, on selling too. So it's not just as straightforward, but some things can take a long time to sell. Yeah, for sure. But if it's a good thing, like if it's a good error or it's a coin in good condition and if you're good at your listing skills, if you're selling a few things, you're more likely to, it's like an algorithm, I suppose, with eBay. I sort of found when I was selling a fair few things, well, when I was listing about five things each day, it would sort of bump all my listings up, I think, and I tend to be selling more. So there's a lot that goes into selling. It's not just as straightforward as, oh, here's a coin, put it up, and it's just going to sell. Yeah. Uh, perfect roll. Perfect roll. Here we go. $1 coins. $1 coins. See if I can snag a... 2014 kangaroos paper tear 6.32 out of 10 yeah <laughs> i keep on forgetting to go for a good good opening on them noel says those look like swedish 10 krona is the exchange rate pretty good i might wander on over to sweden and see if i can pass these off as 10 kronas although the kangaroos might be a bit of a giveaway What's the lowest amount of coins made in a year? Like, what year was that? Oh, it depends on which denomination. So the $1 coins, oh, maybe a changeover commemorative coin from 2016. Only 560,000 of those were minted. But, um, yeah, but it just depends on which coin it is we're talking about. This coin here, only 1.5 million of these were minted with the S on it down here. And a little 35 over here. The 35 stands for 35 years since Australia started minting $1 coins. So some prices on the S1s, $2.10 to $6.50. Ben, is there any years where dollar coins didn't circulate? Um, yes. 2012. Uh, 1987, 1989, 1990 and 1991. So they're the, they're the years that they weren't produced for circulation, although they still made them for mint sets. They still made those coins for mint sets. Tap the treasure box, peeps, says Nelly. Ah, thanks, Nelly. Thanks for the... Appreciate the gifts. Uh. G'day, mate. G'day, Coinsmurf. How's it going? I jumped on the end of your live last night, but I yeah, didn't see much of it because I think you were just wrapping up. Thanks for the gifts, guys. This is so th soothing. Cool. 2005. What year is that? 2019. No errors. Yeah, thanks for the gifts. Thanks, Nelly. It's very kind of you to... And Zach, let's hope this one is not a 2014 because I'll hold on to it if it's not a 2014. Thanks, Zachy. Uh, Zach Miller. Zachy Miller. 2014. This one's quite bright. Oh, this one could be a dino coin or a great Aussie coin hunt. Oh, what are we, what are we going to guess? I'm going to go with dino. Let's go for a dino coin. Five, four, three, two, one, go. 
Hey, Dino. There we go. Gee, it's really bright, isn't it? It's really shiny. Cool. Love the dinos. Yeah, appreciate the gifts, Ta. All right. So that was a wonderful roll. Dara, how's it going? <laughs> All the targets. Getting blinded by new coins. Yeah, that's um, it was pretty shiny, wasn't it? Halen, are any rare coins you know of from New Zealand? Oh, I was just um, showing just a moment ago. There's a book, the John Bertrand New Zealand Coin and Banknote Catalog, 2022. There might be a 2023 one out now. I'm not too sure. But that has coin and banknote values for New Zealand stuff. So I don't really know it off the top of my head uh, what, what to look for. But um, have you ever found a coin that wasn't intended for circulation? Yeah, yeah, plenty. Yep. Appreciate it. No worries. Hey, that one wasn't too bad a tear, actually. Just a little tear on the end of the paper, but it came off fairly clean. Cherry's like, come on, colors, show yourself. That's right, yeah. We might be lucky if we get three across all of those rolls there, Terry. Hey, there we go. Aboriginal flag coin. Nice. So some prices on these, four to ten dollars, depending on condition. Whoop, beautiful. There's one. Yep, got one down. Maybe this roll is going to hold a few coloured coins. Uh, the Olympic coins aren't rare, are they? Oh, they're a little bit more common. Yeah, but if you're sort of taking the view that usually speaking for Australian coins, circulating coins, anything under five million is usually considered rare. Um, but yeah, just about all of the coloured coins are under the five million mark. So the, the Olympic coins, individual ones, yeah. So fitting that, it would be. What is the value of the Dino coin? Oh, between $2.50 and $7.50 is some recent selling price range on those Dino's coins. Do you think Do you think Australia is a question here? Do you think Australia should change its flag? I don't really know. I haven't really got a, a view in it. I think I should be just searching coins and that's what I'm doing. <laughs> focus on what I can control. It's out of my control that, so just focus on coins. Hey, there's another coloured one. Commonwealth Games. A for Australia. $3.50 to $7. Rarest and most valuable coin you've found? Oh, I'm not too sure. Wavy, found a couple of wavy baselines, which I've been um, lucky to. So, yeah, they're some of, my, some of my more valuable coins that I've found. Where do you take your rare coins in Australia? Oh, you can you can maybe take them to coin dealers, but lots of people sell on eBay. There's a lot of Facebook groups, um, yeah, that you can buy and sell on and things like that. So, yep. Oh, let's go for a, um, let's check this one for a rotation. So when you flick this around, the queen's supposed to be pointing to three o'clock like that, but sometimes she's pointing in a different direction. So, I've got one on my desk here that I found last year. So if you turn this coin around, yeah, the coin's pointing up like that. So that's a rotated Wonderler coin. So these 2001 Wonderler coins that are rotated, um, $40 to $79 is a recent selling price range on those rotations on this coin. So it's definitely worth checking. Joker, hey Michael, my family have a heap of 70s and 60s Jubilee coins. Are they worth anything? 70s and 60s Jubilees. You're just talking about the 77 Jubilees? Um, they're higher mintage coin. If it's the 50 cent coin that you're talking about from 977, 25 million were minted. A recent selling price range is $1.80 to $50, but the $50 sale will be one in perfect condition. Uh, a bit of an outlier, really. But because it's a higher mintage, yeah, only a few dollars, pretty much, and there's a fair few of them around. No, any UK collectors? Um, oh, I, there's a couple that I've sort of written down, uk.coin.hunt, yeah, on TikTok anyway, yep. And Christopher Collects, I think he searches through coins as well. Yeah. 
Oh, you're coming to the Ander, Michael. When's the Ander? Tell the truth. Probably not. Probably not. I, yeah. Are you going to it, Nelly? Check for rotations. Good last stream to fall asleep to, to be honest. Keep it up, champ. No worries. Thanks, Redder. How often do you go to the bank to get new coin rolls? Oh, on average, probably once a week. But sometimes it's been a couple of weeks since I've been back. So, yeah, one to two weeks. I do a visit to the bank. Hannah thinks I enjoy these sorts of vids, but I'm in Scotland, so would find it even more exciting. Nice. Not this weekend, next one. Okay. They're all in cases, and we even have celebration coin in Princess Diana's wedding coins. Nice. 18th and 9th. Okay, cool. Guys, show your appreciation for this content by double tapping the screen. <laughs> Let's get likes to, tw to 50,000. Ah, thanks. Thanks, Dale. It's, uh... it's funny because I, the amount that I use to do this live stream it's sort of clipped across the top of my phone so I, I can't actually see how many likes people are doing I don't I didn't see all the figures across the top of the screen all right well, let's getting closer to the end here aren't we we'll do another one dollar roll and then we've got one of each at the end nearly 10k okay Hey, thanks for the likes, guys. Guys, I've got a 923 proof, proof half any cool. Millsy, I saw a video with a Jubilee coin, but it had the code of coat of arms, but they made 10 of them. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. G'day, Spec, how's it going? Come in and say hello. We'd love to meet you. Cool, yeah. Um, with the coat of arms, yeah, Millsy. So, yeah, those 1977 50 cent coins, are, yeah, I think there's only about 10 made that have the coat of arms. So, it's not the Jubilee design. They're very valuable, from what I've heard, anyway. Yeah, tens of thousands of dollars. 11k on the likes, nice. Alright. Oh, check for rotation. This one could be rotated, just the way that it, it turned. No, no. Fool's gold. It's got a bit of an error. Can anyone see that error on this coin? Have a look. Let me know in the comments where you might spot a bit of an error here. Oh, I need paper tear. 9.8531 out of 10. <laughs> okay, pretty good. Nice. Yeah, so big kangaroo. That's right, lucky. So down the big kangaroo on the side here, blob of metal right about there. That's a bit of an error. So that's pretty cool. And it's, in, it's pretty clean, the coin. So um, that's cool. Two errors. Well done for those people who spotted it. Good stuff. Two errors like that, similar to that. Hey, here we go. Great Aussie coin hunt. S for surfing. I don't know if I've got this one, actually. So that might be a new addition to my 2022 Great Aussie coin hunt. S for surfing. Cool. What is a good price for a planetary set at the moment? Oh, I've got no idea. But if you jump on eBay and search them up, and then filter your search to sold items to see what things have been selling for. That's probably a good indication of what they're currently worth. I think this one's got a bit of an error too, or whether it's a bit of damage. It's got a fair few scrapes on it, this coin. But on the back of that third kangaroo blob of metal there, I don't usually look there. So that's a fairly new sort of blob that I haven't really come across. That's like a spewroo too. The Spuru number two, so it's not on the second kangaroo, it's a Spuru on the third kangaroo. He's had a little spew. Blech. Nelly, appreciate the tennis balls, Nelly. 2011 Spuru version two. Cool. It's actually, I'm actually enjoying going through more than just one roll of $1 coins. Get to see a lot of different things. It's good. Two thousand and fifteen. 
Mark, was that one yellow color or on the S for surfing? Oh, it's just really shiny. It's just really shiny. Some of them are just, um, yeah, you've got a real pop to them because it's a fairly new coin. Like it does have some elements on the coin that are sort of frosted, like this frosting section down here. Do you do postage coin valuations? No, I don't. Sorry, yeah, Jacker. So, oops, dropped one in the bag. But it was this one right here. Let's check it out. 2017. G'day, Jackson Angus. How's it going? This one's got a bit of an error too in the similar sort of area, blob of metal down here. So that's the second one today with the blob in that same area. It's not in great condition, this coin, but well, it's sort of got a bit of cool toning across it, I suppose, if you want to sort of be creative with your, <laughs> with your look on it. All right. 2005 Mob of Roos, bit of a lower mintage coin, but I'll let that one go in that condition. All right, let's go on. One last $1 roll, and then we've got the $2 roll. Smashed. What's the oldest coin in your collection? Oh, probably 1788 coin. My friend has a coin with a kangaroo with three legs. Yeah, nice. Probably at 2015. Yeah. Coin, do you think you have ever missed something? Yes, I'm sure I would have missed something. Yeah. Nothing really jumping out there, so I don't think we've got any dino coins in this roll. Aussies for life. Yup. Paper tear 9.965. Oh, getting close. Mark says 10 out of 10. Nice. Is there ever any errors on the queen side of the coin? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Ah, appreciate the gift. Thanks, Big Willy. Ta. Big Willy Will. I like this design. It's cool. They made a fair few. What is it? 1988. Bicentennial. 21.6 million. A dollar fifty to seven dollars. It's a cool design. But I'll let that one. I've got a fair few of them. Ooh. What's happened to the Queen's eyes? No. Not rotated. What's your favourite Australian coin denomination based on shape and size? Oh, the round 50 cent coin. <laughs> the round 50 cent coin from 1966. Ooh, where's that one been? Terry says Anzap coin coming up. There's a Chogum. Scouts. Oh, appreciate the gift. Thanks, Nelly. Any for year of the year back. Okay, and that brings us to the last roll. A two dollar roll. Are we gonna find any colored coins? Not too sure. Let's get into it and find out. Do you sell them individually or in batches? I haven't been focused on selling for Probably over a year now, just been holding on to coins. But um, I used to just sell them individually. Arnie says, let's go red poppy. Yes, that'd be nice. Never found a red poppy, never. I bought one, I was lucky to buy it. 2022 red poppy last year. Oh, this, this will be something, won't it? This will probably, be a, oh, there we go. Uh, Aboriginal flag coin. That's the second one of those today. Four to ten dollars. Wonder how much money the banks lose on these paper rolls. Uh, what do you mean? How much they lose? 
Do you send coins in the bag back and then repurchase rolls? Yes, yeah, so I take the coins back and I put them through the coin deposit machine at the bank and it puts the money back into my bank account. Yeah, and then it just gets some more rolls out. <laughs> Good point, Dada. <laughs> Uh, wow, the face side really changes. I'm used to the US mints. Yeah. Shazza, hi. Is there any value in one and two cent coins? Some of them are, yeah. So the, the 1968 one cent coins, they're the lowest mintage coins. The last time I checked, that some recent selling prices were between $6 and $70 on a 968 one cent coin. So one in perfect condition, 70 bucks. Um, and the two cent coins, you look for the 968s and the 969s. So um, up to $50 in really good condition. All right, this one's a bit of a lower mint. It's the 2012 Aboriginal Elder Design. So in 2012, they had the gold poppy, the red poppy, and also the Aboriginal Elder Design. So this is the most common out of all the, the ones produced that year. But there's still a bit of a low mintage in that 5.9 million. But I'll put it aside. G'day, mate. Any luck of late with any special? Yeah, I've got a fair few things. Nothing right out of the box or anything like that just some some above just above face value sort of coins but um yeah no higher value ones really hh hh i was on a hat trick of hhs last coin 2002 ah uh, okay 966 to 968 two cent coins without the designer's initials are worth a bit too yeah that's right yeah that miss, missing sd on the um australian two cent coins um we do a summary of the findings at the end um yeah I'll, well, i don't know if i'll do everything oh maybe i will i'll, I'll show you so I usually like to hold them because they can they stand out a bit better. But a couple of the women's suffrage coins. There's a few error coins in here. A couple of the women's suffrage coins. Anzac, the, some of the lower mintage dates of the Anzacs. Uh, there we go. We've got a dino coin. Uh, we've got an S for Great Aussie Coin Hunt. Um, just some coins in nice condition. We've got a volunteers coin here. This one's an error coin with a blob on the side of the kangaroo. A couple of Aboriginal flag coins there, the coloured two dollar coin, uh, Commonwealth Games, lower mintage dates here, just the Aboriginal elder design. So that's sort of what I put aside, and just some nice coins there. So that's pretty much what I put aside out of that whole search of coins, and then I usually just <laughs> pile them up on my desk in different locations, and um, and I also sort of put some of them into my folders too. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll check a few comments out and we might sort of wrap things up. Uh, my husband is a numismatic. Cool. Oh, well, next time for three colours in one roll. Yeah, we'll try for that next time, Terry. Um, IMC, California. Awesome. All right, then I might sort of wrap things up there. Thanks, everyone, for jumping on. Uh, thanks, Nelly and Dale and Coin Coinsmurf and who else? Um, we had Kieran on as well and lots of others. Um, Irony and plenty of people thanks for all the comments and um input and everything so hopefully you all have a great day yeah catch you later dale have a good one and have a good noodle tonight too and you too uh nelly spec yeah for sure um yeah good luck with your searches if you're searching for coins and um have a great day and might see you again tomorrow cool all right catch you later everyone bye